Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this look, I wanted to do something a little different and do a bold graphic liner look with the NYX Vivid Brights liner that are incredible. And this look was a little bit difficult. It takes a little bit more time, but I think the results were worth it. So first thing I'm gonna do is use my Milani powder foundation just to set my eye because I have a little bit of concealer on my eyelid right now. So I just wanna set that, um, that cream in with the powder. And then I'm going to go into my Modern Neutrals palette from BH Cosmetics using that orange color and just do a transition shade. So like right above my crease, not all the way up to the brow bone, but right in between the crease and the brow bone. And then next I'm going to use the Icon palette by Absolute New York. And I'm using the yellow shade in it because I wanted to keep the lid pretty light and simple because the really big focus is the liner, not the shadow. And then next I'm gonna go in with that darkest purple shade and map out my crease. Kind of just deepen it up and give my eye a little bit more dimension. And then I'm gonna to mix together the two orange shades in that Modern Neutrals palette again and kind of brush it all over the lid and the transition shade, the crease color, just to blend everything together. I kind of wanted it to all look seamless because again, the lid was not the focus of the look, the liner is. And then time for liner, this is the hard part. So start off using small strokes. I like to start in the middle slash the inner corner of my eye and make really short strokes going across the lid, just lining the lash line first. And then when I get to the outer corner, I wing it out slightly. And kind of just make it a natural movement. Don't force it, just make the wing naturally flow with your eye. So the trick is you can look at your lower lash line and if you were to hold like a credit card or something right there at the corner, whatever, angle that's at, that's where your wing liner should be. And because I've, I do my wing liner all the time, I don't really need to do that credit card trick. For the cut crease kind of part, I'm just basically mapping out my lid, kind of just tracing it first with just very small strokes again, and then winging it out at the end to match that wing underneath it. So if you were to find your crease, you're basically just following your crease along with this white liner or whatever color liner you choose. Again, working in small strokes is the easiest way to do this rather than doing one big stroke and messing it up completely because these things are terrible to try to get off. And finally for lashes, I'm going to use the Kiss Lashes in Midnight and my Bare Minerals Shimmery Eyeliner Pencil. Which the creamy consistency of this is my favorite. And then I'm going to go back into that pink shade in the Icon palette and just line my lower lash line. Just give a little bit more color to the look and it's also going to match with the lipstick that I use and just fill in any gaps. But beware of any makeup left on your hand because you will get it on your face if you're not careful like I did. And let me tell you, it is difficult to get off, especially when you already did your face. But on to mascara. I'm using the Revlon Mega Multiplier Mascara to blend my lashes with the fake lashes and to also kind of emphasize my bottom lashes that are pretty non-existent. And test out whatever kind of lipstick you want. I'm using Mars by ColourPop because I wanted something a little bit pink because it kind of went with my head wrap. And that's where the inspiration for this look came from was from my head wrap that I got from the thrift store. Boom, it was a dollar and it provided me with a lot of inspiration. Thrift stores are amazing. And I love ColourPop. It's only $6 for their liquid lipsticks and they last literally all day. Like. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.